Remember, the first draft of the constitution had said that all judges and magistrates should go home, never to appear again. <laughs> then it was renegotiated, I think, in Ivasha or somewhere. It said, okay, halfway between, because there are some good people, don't throw them away. Vetting is the first time it's done in this continent. Everywhere else, you never, it has not been done, but it has been done in Europe, in post colonial, post conflict, post dictatorial and in Latin America. So, we are setting an example in this continent, and therefore we shall assume the others follow. We are vetting judges and magistrates. Uh, we need you to be a part of the process. We want you to bring complaints and compliments, like Mr. Washila said, because if you keep quiet, it is like they say in the wedding, Anybody who knows the reason why these two people should not be married <laughs> must stay now or keep quiet, whatever. Now, anybody who knows the reason why a certain judge or magistrate should continue or not continue should say it. Because it has come from a long struggle. The new constitution was that year. Uh, it was the date of commerce, 1980, 80, 83 in the University of Nairobi. That is where then our struggles started. And you can see it's a long time, it's half of my lifetime. So, our purpose here is just to tell you that so far we are happy, you have been doing some work, but we want lawyers to do more. Uh, the other thing that we wanted to explain is that uh, some lawyers say that they are afraid, and I don't see why they should be afraid, but they are afraid, so it's a fact, to write anything in their names. So, we are encouraging them then to go through the law society in your branch here and make it a corporate complaint or compliment. That if you know someone has done good things, like if they have done bad things, let them play they are bad. Because we want to build a country, not for yourselves. I think you also passed that age. It is for the, your children. When we struggle, it is for our children, for younger people, stuff like some I say here. We are encouraging you, the lawyers, because you are the ones that uh, interact with judges, with magistrates on uh, a very regular basis. You know more about these judges and magistrates than the ordinary man in the street. But my disappointment as a foreigner is that, um, you know, when I was outside this country, at the time when I was invited, the picture I was given of the judiciary in this country was that it was uh, collapsing because of corruption, because of, uh, you know, um, so many other deficiencies. And I come here and look at uh, the type of complaints we are, doing, we are, we are having. Uh, very few have come from lawyers. Very few, if any. In fact, uh, you'll uh, remember from the determinations which were announced on the 25th of April that uh, even those as, uh, judges who we found not to be suitable to continue, they were not found guilty of. Oh, not, I shouldn't use guilty because they, they were, no one was being found guilty. They were not found unsuitable because of corruption, but other matters. And yet, when I listen to Kenyans on the street, they say the judiciary is corrupt. Where is corruption? You, but you should know it. You are the lawyers who deal with these judges. So why don't you come forward? I know that... Uh, some of, most of you feel that uh, if you uh, append your name to that complaint letter and the judges come to know that it is Mr. X or Mrs. Miss X, a lawyer, a practitioner, who appears before me, Chomba, who is reporting that I have done X, Y, Z, then I'm going to ensure that uh, when he or she comes before me, I ensure that uh, uh, he or she is going to find it difficult to do her work. Why? Well, if that be the, the, the reason you don't want to uh, divulge your ident identity, please write a communal uh, uh, 
complaint as uh, Embo Law, is it the branch of the Law Society of Kenya? You see, in that case, I will deal with your complaint. But we are not going to tell the judge or the magistrate that this complaint is from X, Y, Z. Because we want to protect you. But please, if you want to help your own country, do come out with the facts. Otherwise, I'll go back to Zambia, speaking for myself, and say, well, Kenyan judges, although we've been hearing that they are corrupt, actually they are very decent people. And we don't know why. Then the people there will say, but why have you vetted them? You see? We cannot say that there has not been corruption in the courts. The problem is, we know, as the, the members of the public have been saying, most of it goes between lawyers and the judges. So, the only lawyer who can be able to testify as to which judge is corrupt is the one they have been eating together. <laughs> Which, which my, uh, advocate uh, gives money to the judge and which judge receives can only make a delegation. He cannot be able to prove that's the problem we are having. Thank you. If you want to uh, lay a complaint, you should also realize that um, in order for that complaint to be sustained, there will have to be evidence. So you find a way of presenting evidence, maybe, maybe, maybe not by yourself. Eh? Your client could, uh, could be the, the person, or somebody else who you think is in a position to present evidence. Yes, I've heard uh, you know, that some of the people that uh, uh, have been dealt with have been given a, a, a clean sheet but that is not the case. Well, if it isn't, it's unfortunate. You didn't give us the material to use. The other thing is that we have about 27 variables we are looking at. So complaint is just one of them. We have um, a team of police investigators separated to us from those uh, institutions which do investigations. And I know they are very effective because they used to follow us very effectively. And uh, <laughs> they have been able to get some of very critical evidence, even where uh, some judges may say no. But we do that. Complaints one, corruption is one. But we are looking at the competence, people who are appointed behind the doors, people who don't know the law also, they, are lawyers, they claim to be lawyers. Because of, uh, advocates, a few have come and challenged some of the judges on competence. And uh, it is, you cannot believe it. It's very effective. And they argue now, they are arguing in the court and say you are incompetent. Look at this point, how you dealt with it. So it is really a process, not victimizing, not vindicating anybody, but cleaning, cleaning, cleaning our judiciary. That's why we went to war in 208. We don't want to go to another. We want to clean the judiciary where if you are admitted, you go to court. 208, we said what? We couldn't go to court because nobody believed in those courts and we went to a civil war because of election results. So it's a serious process.